being successful in adult education depends on whether or not the teacher and the staff have the compassion and the drive to be there for the students and to advocate for them. Um, and a perfect example of this is a couple years ago, I had a student, an older gentleman, he was, he had eye problems. You could clearly tell he had eye problems. He didn't have anyone to take him to the eye doctor to advocate for him. So I stepped up as his teacher because I knew it was hindering his learning. I took him to the eye doctor. I don't know a lick of Spanish to help me in an eye doctor's office. Thank goodness his grandson met us there so he could translate. Um, I told the eye doctor a little bit about what I saw. He explained from the student, explained from his end what was going on with his eyes. And basically he could only see about a fourth of what he should normally see. So it was like, yeah, no wonder he's having problems in class. But we know now and could work with that and work around that to decrease those barriers for him so he could become successful in classes. And without that advocacy, he may have never have had that opportunity to sit in a classroom and learn English because he hasn't had anybody on his side like that before in a class. The same student had issues. He was wanting to uh, apply for citizenship, but due to his age and the length of years that he had been living in the country as a permanent resident, he was not able to take it in Spanish. And so I was trying to work with the eye doctor to get a medical waiver for him to be able to take it in Spanish. And that, that was a frustration for me because the eye doctor was not willing to compromise in his beliefs about the, the student and I was not willing to compromise in my beliefs about the student. And so we kind of butted heads on that a little bit because I'll never forget the eye doctor saying that the student could learn more English if he wanted to. Those words, he could learn more English if he wanted to. And I'm sitting back just screaming on the inside because he had just sat here and told us he was pretty much legally blind and then to turn around and say that he could learn more English if he wanted to. And that just, that shook me to my core because I knew how hard he was trying. I knew how much effort he was putting in in his English classes. I knew he was struggling because of his vision, but I couldn't get the eye doctor to understand that. And so that, that was a turning point for me of being like, okay, I'm going to do whatever it takes and fight whatever fights I have to fight for this student because I believe in him. And that that's changed how I interact with my students and, and advocate for them.